the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge on your model and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge menu. Locate the Delete Action. With the Delete Action selected, you'll see a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edge Loop Complete target. With the Edge Loop Complete target selected, if you hover over an actual edge on your model and then simply click, it will delete that actual edge loop. So you can come through and just keep deleting edge loops as needed. Hovering back over an edge and pressing spacebar, now let's select the target of edge. Now the edge target will allow you to come through and remove the actual triangular splits that are created inside a poly. So here I just have a poly here and it is split into two triangles. So I can use the delete edge action to come through and remove that inner edge there to return it back to a quad poly. Since ZBrush works on triangles and quads, you will only be able to use this target on an edge that when removed will generate a four or three sided poly. Attempting to use the target to delete this edge here would result in a five sided poly, so the operation cannot be completed. But coming over across this edge here, deleting would result in a four sided poly, so you can delete that edge. Hovering back over an edge and holding spacebar again, now let's select the target of edge loop partial. When using the edge loop partial target, ZBrush is going to look at the edge you want to delete, and it's going to delete that edge until it comes up to an extraordinary point. This consists of a point that has less or more than four edges connected to it. So if you want to delete this edge through here, ZBrush is going to come through and delete this edge all the way up until it gets to this point here. This point here has one, two, three, four, and five edges connected to it. So performing this edge loop partial target on it will come through and delete that edge until it reaches that actual point. Now if I came through and used the delete option here and delete just this edge here, returning this point to now being connected to four edges, now if I apply the edge loop partial, you will notice that it will delete that entire edge all the way through. So using this edge loop partial target will allow you to delete an edge up to a certain point. Now, if the edge you want to delete does not run into any of these extraordinary points, when you actually perform this target, it's going to be very similar to the edge loop complete action. So using this process, you can come through and now start deleting edge loops on your actual model to clean up different areas on your mesh or modify the topology as needed.